THE RIVER MERCHANT'S WIFE A LETTER by Ezra Pound Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Drake While my hair was still cut straight across my forehead, I played about the front gate, pulling flowers. You came by on bamboo stilts, playing horse. You walked about my seat, playing with blue plums. And we went on living in the village of Chokan, two small people without dislike or suspicion. At fourteen I married my lord Yu. I never laughed, being bashful. Lowering my head, I looked at the wall. Called to a thousand times, I never looked back. At fifteen I stopped scowling. I desired my dust to be mingled with yours, forever and forever and forever. Why should I climb the lookout? At sixteen you departed. You went into far Kutoyen, by the river of swirling eddies. And you have been gone five months. The monkeys make sorrowful noise overhead. You dragged your feet when you went out. By the gate now the moss is grown, the different mosses, too deep to clear them away. The leaves fall early this autumn in wind. The paired butterflies are already yellow with August over the grass in the west garden. They hurt me. I grow older. If you are coming down through the narrows of the river Kyang, please let me know beforehand. I will come out to meet you, as far as Chofu Sa. By Rihaku End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.